So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. These here are nematode worms wiggling around right here in the back. And uh, today I want to show you some nematode worms that are a little bit problematic. And namely, I would, I would like to talk about so-called a trichinella parasite. Now, those nematode worms in the background, they're quite harmless. Uh, they're referred to as vinegar eels and have uh, been growing them myself, uh, not only for microscopy, but they're also sold uh, as fish food. And uh, yeah, they're really harmless uh, but those trichinella worms that I would like to talk about today they can be a little bit um, of a problem. Now what I've done is, is I uh, isolated some of those uh, uh, vinegar eels uh, and I looked at them a little bit at a higher magnification and uh, I squeezed them also between the cover glass and the slide so that they don't move quite as quickly and I think they're pretty, pretty interesting little creatures here. Um, yeah, you're able to look into their body because they are transparent. So you're able to see quite well their digestive system and other organs as well. And what they do is, is they move around and they are actually eating food, like for example, bacteria and other small debris and so on. But the trichinella worm that I would like to talk about later, well, they are a little bit uh, different in the sense that uh, they can be passed on uh, from animal to animal or from person, um, yeah, basically by eating uncooked or not properly cooked meat, especially pork, because uh, those uh, yeah, trichinella worms, they form so-called cysts in the meat um, of uh, the animal. And when it's not properly cooked, uh, then yeah, they will basically also start to reproduce in our intestine. And then um, yeah, those cysts also start to build up um, in our muscles. I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, that later. Uh, I would like to now show you um, a microscope slide uh, showing some muscle with some cysts. And I would like to give you a a little, um, yeah, a little uh, guessing game here, and uh, maybe you're able to identify some of those nematode worms here. Um, um, all of the red areas that you see here, um, that's the muscle, but maybe you can see some of the cysts. And as a matter of fact, yeah, um, they are not so difficult to see if you just know what you're looking for. Um, there are muscle fibers uh, running horizontally and, uh, and uh, in cross section, but this here is, as a matter of fact, a cyst, a name of, of one of those uh, nematode worms uh, called trichin. Now you might wonder a little bit, um, yeah, why those uh, cysts do not really look uh, very much like worms. I'm going to pause this here a little bit. I would like to simply show you a little bit here. So using the arrow, this here is the cyst, and in here, what you see in here is that is the worm. And um, yeah, but actually it looks like uh, like a circle here, um, and not really um, long and thin and slender. And the reason is is because um, the worm here um, is uh, yeah spiraled up and wound up in a in a spiral, and therefore uh, when you you look um, at it in the cross section it looks uh, the way it does look like here now what happens when you eat uh, this undercooked or raw pork well uh, because of the digestive uh, enzymes and the acid in the stomach um, those cysts are activated and released and what they do is, is those little worms the tr trichinella worms they come out and they start to reproduce in the intestine and uh, they start to mate yes and uh, they will produce uh, larvae and those larvae um, will then go into the bloodstream and are going to be spread over the body um, and uh, when they reach the muscles, they will form again new cysts. Now, those uh, trichinella parasites are not very common um, if the meat is properly inspected. Um, so generally, uh, I would still recommend that you always definitely um, cook uh, the pork uh, quite well because this, of course, inactivates them. And here you see a little bit better. Um, yeah, let, yeah, here you see a little bit better um, how they actually look like. Um, let me have a look here. Here's the arrow. Yeah, you see a little bit better that uh, also here at the top that uh, the worm in, is actually wound up in, in a circle, in a spiral. And uh, if you have not seen this before yet, yeah, here, this is one cyst here and here is the other one as well. Yeah, so that's basically um, simply a little um, interesting, uh, little interesting excursion into the world of nematodes. Um, they are one um, of the yeah, extremely common, um, yeah, extremely common invertebrate animals that you can find. Um, and uh, I would simply like uh, to say that if you uh, observe a water sample, for example, with some de decomposing material, then of course you're also able to find uh, those nematode worms. But again, not all of them are a problem. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that uh, today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, here's the next video to watch, okay? Um, happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.